the top of the class, Zach Pittman has entered the building. And the fans let him know what they think straight out of the gate. This is your main event. Malfi says, about to enter the ring. The guy's already in the ring. Maybe face the other way, moron. Last week, these two faced each other in a tag team match, which was tainted, much like we just saw in the last match, by uh, Ace Jackson, who came out and calls it his qualification for the co County Crusher. One of my personal favorites, one of my best friends, and one of the strongest fighters in Grindhouse Pro Wrestling. This is a man who swings a pickaxe, tears down Paul for a living, and loves it. If looks could, if looks could kill, <laughs> Cole County Crusher's going to jail for murder. And Zach Pittman, man, he, he's not wanting this match at all. I think he wants, Pitt, I think he wants uh, Crusher to calm down a little bit. Now, there's a little bit of history between these two as. Co County Crusher's girlfriend started receiving gifts several months ago from an unknown source, which was later revealed to be Zachary Dayton Pittman. After the fact that the two tried to pin that on the Co County Crusher, effectively not just ending the relationship between the Crusher and Hazel, but also the friendship between the Crusher and Ace Jackson. The Crusher has a lot to fight for here and nothing to lose. Lifting. ZDP up in the air and ZDP doing the smart thing and getting out of the ring. Crusher's none too happy to have to even be anywhere near ZDP. I think he'd rather the ZDP get out of wrestling altogether. He's giving chase to his man here, stalking him much like Jason Voorhees. And now ZDP throwing some shots to the back of the Crusher. Doesn't seem to be very effective. He goes for that accident early on, catches him off that crossbody. Maybe going for a running power slam for the British Bulldogs, fuck! Goes for a pin here, one, two. The Crusher not able to get the job done. ZDP kicks out, maybe out of instinct. Lifts him up by his throat, unbelievable. Ooh, the Crusher just crushing the jaw of ZDP. I mean, you can look at the... Ooh. You can look at the face and the stance of the Cole County Crusher and tell that he's been going through a lot, both mentally and physically. Just losing a piece of himself when Hazel left his life. And now he doesn't have a, even have a friend to talk to about it. And Ace Jackson, like I said, he has nothing to lose. The guy's sitting at home, he doesn't have a friend, he doesn't have a girlfriend, he doesn't even have any pets. But what he does have is his fist and he's sharing them with Zachary Dayton Pittman. Top of the class is definitely feeling the bottom of the mat right now, and I don't think he's like, oh! Speaking of which, he just pulled the Cole County Crusher face first into the second turnbuckle, as EDP is trying to regain his composure and get back to his feet. <laughs> and Crusher just went for a clothesline, instead got caught in the stomach with the knee strike. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what he was going for. Crusher took it out with a clothesline and got a two count out of him. <laughs> Throwing some elbows here to the, to the muscle. ZDP, you know, you got to feel for the co County Crusher. Guy had everything taken away from him. Now the only thing that he's got left is wrestling, and he refuses to have that taken, you know, as well. At least for me to say. ZDP comes out of the corner with another knee strike. Definitely utilizing those knee pads. You know, I feel like if he would focus a little less on posturing, things like that wouldn't happen where he gets close onto the mat. But a guy like ZDP doesn't care as much about winning a match as he does himself. It's all about ego for Zachary Pittman. We got a shot earlier of ZDP holding that flag, which of course was stolen by Billy Sparks and was great game recently thanks to Ace Jackson. Straight to the, to the gut now. Cole County Crusher. What a suplex from the Cole County Crusher. 
absolutely perfect. ZDP definitely with the wherewithal and the ring awareness rolls out to the outside where of course you cannot get a pinball victory. For those of you keeping note at home, Crusher tries to go to the outside with the referee trying to reason with him. You know, if the referee was smart, he'd keep his hands off of the Crusher, man, because he's not himself. I don't think the Crusher cares so much about getting a victory here as he does winning a fight. Ooh, Crusher fought in face first against that steel ring post. No matter how strong his lungs might be after breathing in all that coal dust, I think that corner might not be his best friend. And ZDP trying to gain some leverage here on the outside, throwing some strikes and rolling back into the ring. Where he can, uh, I think he'd be happy with walking away with the count out. I think for ZDP that might be the best option, just to hope that the crusher can't get back up. This is who you cheer for! Listen to the arrogance of ZDP, the guy. Like I said, he doesn't care about wrestling. He just cares about posturing. Count him out. Count him out. Come on. Crusher count has to re-begin because the Crusher ZDP. got back up on the apron. I trust you. You know he's on the outside, huh? You know, for as much as the fans absolutely love the Cole County Crusher, they despise ZDP, especially after what he did here recently. Crusher's relationship with Hazel. Hazel the Heartbreaker. That might be a good nickname for her. Victory over Crusher. He kicks out. Refusing to give up here. Even though he's taking some very hard drop kicks to the chest and to the lungs. Those are, those are close fists, and the referee just, I guess, letting that go. That's who he is as a person. You got ZDP and POS, the referee. Don't ask me what that stands for. Somebody just whisper it to me. Oh. Oh. Give us some kicks to the ribs. Cole County Crusher fans are clapping, trying to get behind the Crusher here. Trying to show the Crusher that he hasn't lost everything because he still has his fans. The best friend that he lost or the girlfriend that he lost has gained a lot of fans, a lot of sympathy from these people who can relate to having both of those things happen to them in their own personal lives. And ZDP doesn't relate to any of these people because he's the top of the class and he's eh, nobody here really knows what that feels like. According to him, anyway. Might have a couple of valedictorians in the crowd. You don't know. Oh, Crusher getting kicked right in the face by ZDP. Calculated that coming. Most people go over that with a kick to the face. Goes for another kick. Right in the forehead there. Three, another one. Right to the bridge of the nose. And the Crusher still not taking off his feet. Fighting on pure instinct gets caught almost for the DDT. But no, the Crusher catches him. Is he gonna go for that capture DDT? No, he gets him with a big suplex instead. Instead of just going for the head, he targets the whole body. And he got every single bit of that. The only problem is the Crusher's been kicked in the face so many times these days, and ZDP has been almost completely taken out of this match. This is not looking good for either man right now. It's hard to tell who's going to win this match, but I can tell you who the fans want to see win, and that's the Cole County Crusher. It's unbelievable watching matches like these and thinking that these are anywhere else in the world, these are normal men, but when you start training to become a professional wrestler, you become a super athlete, and that's exactly what stands here in the ring. Our two megastars, two superheroes, and well, I mean, one superhero and maybe one super villain. Something about that ring just brings out the best in everybody. And when emotions get involved, maybe sometimes the worst. Crusher gets back to the ropes. DDP now trading back and forth with the Crusher. Crusher trying to get the advantage here. Throwing those big potatoes. He catches DDP right in the jaw. Crusher almost looked like he almost smiled there. It might be the first time he's done so in months. Here. He's looking hot doing it, man. He's looking like a million bucks. And then the Crusher's finally getting back in control. Goes, big, goes for a big clothesline. Let's catch it. <laughs> Lifts him up. Goes for a spine buster. Arn Anderson, Triple H, Cole County Crusher. These three are in a class of their own. Zach Pittman, you might be at the top of the class right now. Cole County Crusher's looking to disqualify you here. Catches him with a big clothesline in the corner. Crusher now sending DDP to the opposite side, following.
rolling through with another clothesline. He's about to go for it a second time. Sometimes that doesn't roll through, but it happens for the Coe County Crusher who lifts Pittman onto his shoulders. He might be going for maybe a TKO. Oh! Big lung blower straight to the stomach. Now it looks like the Crusher might be gearing up for the axe handle. He catches this. CDP's done. Oh! He got him right in the chest. What is he? Is he going for him? He's going for a second one. Oh, that's not the best idea. Not the best idea at all. A hooded man comes out with a stick, a kiddo stick, right to the back. Are you kidding me? That's the same kendo stick that was given as a gift to Ace Jackson. But we didn't see the face. Could that have been? Could that have been Ace Jackson? As Ace Jackson joined. As Ace Jackson joined the Bad Dude Gang, and if so, did he just do so at the expense of the Cole County Crusher? Either way, CDP picks up a big victory over the Cole County Crusher to end this week's Grindhouse Pro Wrestling. You know I may not like it, but as a general manager, I mean, the referee didn't see it. I got to go with the referee's word here, and Zachary Dayton Pickman picks up a victory. Folks, my name is Jason Saint. I am your Grindhouse Pro Wrestling general manager, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>